Yes, welcome everyone here to the Smash Sports Show right here on Smash FM here on a very wet uh, Wednesday here in Melbourne. Of course, uh, let's go up to our friends up in the top end now and, of course, speak with the Waratah uh, NTFL uh, women's team. And, of course, they play in the Premier League competition up there in Darwin. And, of course, uh, we've got three very special guests joining us right now as, as well as, of course, our play sponsor as well. And they join us right now. Thanks, uh, all three, for joining us. It's not a problem. It's a, it was a bit wet here today as well, but I think the tem- temperature was a lot higher than possibly where you are. Yeah, a little bit, hu- <laughs> a little bit more human, possibly. Possibly. I will get all three to introduce yourselves and tell us what position all three you play on the field. I'm Isabel Hartog, but I go by Togs from my last name. Um, I play played everywhere this season so far. So I've played a little, mostly mids in the mids and then I play a little bit in the back line and I've played in the forwards as well, but mostly midfield. Um, my name's Annabelle Kubert and I've also played everywhere, but mostly in the mid and forward. My name's Lauren O'Shea. Um, I've been, yeah, full forward and centre half forward um, this season. So I'm definitely got a few years on these girls. So slowing down a bit. So happy to sit deep, <laughs> deep in the forward line. Still kicking the snack. <laughs> uh, how's the season going so far through the first month of the season? Going pretty well. Um, we're sitting fairly in the middle of the ladder. Um, had a few wins, a couple of losses against the top teams, but I think we're pretty well situated at this point of the season. Um, yeah. Everyone's going pretty well, which is nice. We've had a couple of um, girls that I play with in Brisbane. They've come come up to have a few games and they're pretty much superstars themselves. So it's been pretty good. Yeah, it's been great. We've got a yeah, lot of new players in the mix, which is really good. And um, we've got a reserves team going as well. So we've got really good numbers and people are fighting for their position in Premier League, which is great. Um, our coach, Heidi Thompson, has been... Um, a really great change for our club. She's her communication is on point, very transparent with players moving up and down, um, and it's created yeah really good feeling this season. So uh, yeah, a few wins on the board as Tog said, um, but hopefully I I, I would imagine a, a many more wins to come. Annabelle's a sixteen year old superstar. So <laughs> how's the preparations like heading to this weekend's game? And uh, and you might as well tell us who your opponents are this week. Yep, so we're playing Pints this week, which are the premiers from last season. So we know it will be um, a really big game this weekend. Um, We do know they have lost a few players. So Jasmine Hewitt has returned to Adelaide Crows, so she won't be playing um, for them this season. Um, And we do know um, a couple of our mates, actually, that play at at Pints of um, one's done her knee, one's hurt her finger. So a couple of their key players are out, which is unfortunate for them. Um, however, we yeah we still know they'll present strong, so it should be a, a really good game. At least some sort of a match play uh, against the reserves a um, bit later on today. Oh, you know, some sort of preparation, a good preparation going to that game against Pines. Yeah, it's good preparation, so then we can get some like game and some game plans as well to figure out how to best beat Pints. Yeah, it's nice to nice to put into practice what we've what we've kind of been doing in training, um, especially against such a good team like Pints. Nice to get on the track, and we had a really good training session Monday. Some good fitness after our bye last week, so I reckon we'll hit the ground running on Saturday. And I know Heidi, there's a few um, reserve players that are on the fringe of pushing into Premier League, so. Um, selections are not done for this weekend yet. So I know Heidi will be out there tonight um, watching how girls perform. And I've got a feeling there'll be a few getting an opportunity this weekend, which is awesome. Annabelle, I need to ask you, because then uh, you you do play both, um, 18s and also uh, the Premier League team. Um, I guess uh, how you've gone so far this this season? Um, Yeah, I've been lucky enough to debut the first game in Premier League. And I haven't played an A-teams game yet, which is pretty good. We're not letting it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've gotten top in what three games? I think? Yeah, yeah. In the top three for three games. Yeah, which is pretty good. So yeah. She's not going to blow her own trumpet, yeah, but no. she has been no. absolutely phenomenal. I think a lot of the people in the team forget how young she actually is. So she's definitely holding her own out there. 
um, very accountable on the field and, and putting everything we've put in, uh, in practice into play on, on game day. And I think every week she's got to mention um, or has been in the best. So she's absolutely killing it out there. And we're not going to let her go back and play with 18s. We, we need to keep her with us. <laughs> with us for the whole year, I reckon. 100%. To ask uh, Annabelle, considering we sponsor you this year, is that you know how how much has that been motivation for you? Yeah, definitely. I try and get feedback every week so I can improve myself and try and be the best that I can be and push myself to beat these women. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. I enjoyed it a lot. So yeah, everyone's very inclusive as well, which is good. I know someone mentioned before that uh, you have some Queenslanders up there at the moment. Um, I think three or four of them are from uh, the defending champions in the Quaffle W. Uh, <laughs> in the, yeah, in the uh, of course, the UK uh, Lions. Um, I guess uh, how good is that to have a uh, couple of your uh, premiership players uh, coming up with you? Yeah, I mean, I mean, being one of those premiership players, it's kind of, it's a bit special coming to a team and having the same feeling. Um, don't want to don't want to put any jinxes on yet, but it's very similar to the feeling we had at UQ this year. Um, obviously, Megan Hunt, our captain from UQ, she came up for the last couple of games. She's been she's been instrumental. Same with Stephanie O'Brien. She's been she obviously was in the draft this year and she's on the train on squad for the Lions, which is nice. Um, yeah, it's been pretty awesome. Maddie Crowley Long's also coming up this week to, to have a game or two. So we're definitely rich in rich in the lionesses up here at Tars. We'll get to your premiership uh, success down at uh, the Coffle W in a moment. Uh, but uh, um, I guess what convinced um, yourself and I guess a couple of the other your um, lioness um, teammates to come up to um, to Darwin during the off season. Uh-huh. Weather's being up here just in a different different area, different competition. It's really nice. It's really refreshing. Meeting a whole bunch of new girls. It's lovely. We all know Heidi personally. I she coached Heidi Thompson. She t- coached me about seven years ago in playing cricket of all things. Um, and then just stayed in contact. And a couple of us were asked to come up and see if we can have a couple of games or stay up here for a while, which I have. Um, it's really it's. Different, it really is. It's a lot different to Brisbane, but it, I'm loving it. And I'm sure Megan and Steph have definitely loved every second of it as well. There's a couple of players in your team we should watch out for uh, in the coming weeks, um, except for Annabelle, because we, we know Annabelle's a gun oh, uh, of a player. Um, <laughs> is there any other place we should watch out for other than Annabelle? I reckon Maddie Crowley Long coming into this week and next week, she's going to be... One to watch. She was in the W um, team of the year on the wing. That's right. Which is pretty nice. Um, I think Isabel Rapson's one to keep all yeah. our eyes on as well. She's a really solid defender and sort of drives our um, back line there. So, um, yeah, she's she's done really well every game so far and she does a lot for the club as well. She'll be out there coaching um, tonight, which is awesome. But her game has just stepped up a notch this season. So she'd be one I'd be keeping an eye on. Yeah, she's been in top three every week for yeah. about three weeks, I think. Yeah. yeah, so definitely, definitely one to watch. And Aggie. Yeah. yeah. So name, but. Jenna Singh, one of our Indigenous players, um, she's been around the club for a long time. Um, we call her Aggie. Uh, she's got an a easy 50-metre kick on yeah. her. Um, she's, she's quite strong and agile um, in that forward line. So give her the ball and if we can get her some space to run, and um, there's no looking back with her. So she's she's a really good one to watch yeah, play yeah. as well. Exciting Definitely. footy. Yeah. I'm going back to the Coffle W premiership. Um now, of course, down there at EQ. Um, of course, I'm just trying to think who you beat. You beat Bon Year, I'm pretty sure, in that grand final a couple of months ago. I guess how special was the season? Um, and especially getting the first ever premiership down there at EQ. And hopefully uh, you can duplicate that up here at Waratahs. Yeah, first, first ever women's premiership at UQ. A um, couple of the couple of the girls have been there since. Have been the founding girls of the UQ Lionesses, which is nice. The feeling, though, from the start, from our preseason camp, we had about sixty girls turn up to a preseason camp over the two over the two teams. Um, 
it was just instrumental. Like we had, we've had a new coach this year, um, Ross Clayfield, and he's just brought in an absolute belief to the girls. Um, he believed in everyone. He opened up communication between leadership group and just normal players. And then also between players and coaching staff, he was amazing. And he put in the belief in us that we could actually do it. Um, along with our captain, our skipper as well, Megan Hunt, she's played AFLW at the highest level, um, was an inaugural Brisbane Lions player. Um, she had an amazing feeling as well at the start of the year. Um, Ross quoted it in his grand final speech that she said, I think we're going to win the premiership. Um, I don't think she told many people that, but yeah, <laughs> pretty awesome. Like to win 20 points down at half time sure. against Bon Union, insane outfit. They've got girls that are in training squads. They've got girls in the suns. They've got girls coming out of their ears. So pretty, pretty awesome. So I want to ask this, considering Megan predicted that you were going to win the premiership this year, which you did um, fairly easily at the end. So did Megan suggest it this year um, for the Waratahs that you can go all the way and win it all? Her and I have agreed that it's got a similar feeling around the group. The uh. No, I'm not going to say it in so many words, but we've got <laughs> a belief in each other and our teammates that, I don't know, it's the trust. I don't know how to put my finger on it just yet, but it's the trust and the belief that we have in each other and the trust that we've got in our coaching staff. Now, what have you seen any similarities between, obviously, Heidi, your coach, um, there yeah. at Waratah, and obviously Ross, which obviously just signed on again um, for this uh, for next season? Yeah, um, it's, I think it's actually a big similarity. The communication is next to perfect, I think. Um, and just, again, the, the security that they put into players and the belief that they put into girls, they're like, who cares if it doesn't work? And then half the time it comes off anyway because they've put the belief in there and they want you to try new things. Um, yeah, Heidi and Ross are very, very similar, I think. Lauren, I want to ask you this, considering you're down the, the best end of the field, I guess, uh, down the forward line. Uh, I guess, uh, have you kicked some spectacular goals this year down at the Waratah? No, I haven't actually. I'm all about the blocking down there for the young ones to come through and the quick ones. So, no, I'm not a, not a I haven't kicked a lot of goals at all. But, um, uh, yeah, enjoyed being down there. I'm actually, I've spent most of my footy career in the ruck, um, but my knees are, are not very good at the minute. So, I need to... Um, less than the amount of jumping I do. So uh, hence sort of getting thrown down there. So it is, I still feel a bit foreign in the forward line, um, but being a little bit of a, I guess, a taller girl and a bigger girl, I try and use my body so the, the little ones can come through. The crumb has come through. I'm happy to block. I'm happy to shepherd and they can run through and get them. So I'm just, I'm too slow, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to ask, how did... Uh... All three get involved in footy and why did you choose it? Annabelle, you don't have to answer this because you've already answered this question before. I've only played footy for about two years. Um, I got into it because my brother's played for about, since he was seven, he's now 22, 23. Um, I just started playing because I wanted to try something different. I played field hockey for about nine years and decided to change it up. Um, decided to go down to start just kicking, kicking some the footy with my brother and then eventuated into me joining a footy club Pretty in, in and about way of doing it but <laughs> which I did it earlier but yeah, yeah. I um I grew up in Victoria and uh, netball was my main sport I pretty much had a taste of anything that happened in my little country town in Yarrawonga um but football for girls was just it just didn't exist really mm -hmm. um so yeah grew up sporty I guess moved to Moved to the Territory 10 years ago now. I've been up here for 10 years um, and had my I had my netball team sorted before I had a job up here. So my priorities were in order. I had my sport sorted, played the season in netball, won a premiership, which was awesome. And then I kind of just said to the girls, oh, what, what does everybody do now? And they're like, we go to footy. And I'm like, oh, are you, okay. <laughs> um, they're like, should come down. So, yeah, got encouraged to come down. I've grown up around football. So back home, yeah. football, netball clubs. So it could sort of kick the footy and knew a bit about footy. 
Um, so yeah, come down to a training here at Gardens Oval and, and never really looked back um, since then. So have played every season since, which has been great. Um, the team aspect, the size of the team is something that I really like. Um, compared to a netball team of say 10 or so, we've got, yeah, 30 or more girls um, to get around here. I think the opportunities that are presented through footy and being in the territory as well as just um, blow me away. So I've been very lucky, but I do wish perhaps I had taken it up a bit younger, um, but it is what it is. And I, I got in just in that cusp of, of high level footy happening. So I had a bit of a taste and yeah, still, still loving it. And I'll, I'll probably need to stop in the next year or two, but we'll, we'll see how we go. <laughs> Lauren, obviously being, um, you know, come from country Victoria, uh, especially the beautiful part of Yarrawonga, um, I guess, uh, do you miss home? You know, I know, you, I know you're <laughs> home now, it's up in the top end. <laughs> yeah, no, I do miss home. I um, It's probably, yeah, the family and friends that, that, that are there. I'm probably feeling it more lately um, because I can't, well, if I go home, I have to quarantine coming back here into the Territory, so... The whole of Victoria at the moment is um, basically a red zone. So if you do go there, you're at two weeks at Howard Springs at your own expense here. So um, I've had flights booked home for various things throughout the year. Um, a couple of weddings, which ended up not happening. I've had a little niece born six weeks ago. I haven't met her. Um, so I, my fingers are crossed that I can get home at Christmas um, to see everyone. But it just, yeah, all comes down to... Um, our Chief Minister, Michael Gunner, actually. So we'll see what he does. He is our patron um, of Waratah Football Club. So oh. he is a Waratah man, which is good. So we've got him on our side, but he's, he's protecting the territory, I guess, and our vulnerable communities that we have up here. So totally understand where he's coming from. But, yeah, my fingers are crossed to get home. Now, all three measure right at the start what position all three play on the field. If you had a preferred position, we'd love to convince your coaches to put you, wherever that be. Midfield, I'm staying there. I'm staying put. <laughs> yeah, same as me as well, the mid. Yeah, I love I love the ruck. I just love being involved in the play and following the play around. Um, but I don't know how I'd go convincing Heidi <laughs> to put me there anymore. I don't think it would happen. <laughs> we can get on that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I know I'm going to ask the most serious question I'm going to ask, uh, but what would be some highlights throughout all three your football journey so far? Winning Coffle W. <laughs> Actually, and playing with the Lions girls. That I will, I don't think, if I stop playing footy now, at least I can say, played with the likes of Bree Coden, Nat Grider, Dakota Davidson, all those girls. Yeah, pretty, pretty special, actually. Um, definitely the opportunity to go play in the Gold Coast team. That was pretty cool, pretty special, and not a lot of people get to do that, so I'm very grateful for that. I think the best is yet to come for Annabelle. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Um, my highlight, highlight, a couple of highlights, I guess. I've been very lucky to be here at Waratahs. We've won... Um, uh, this is a bit embarrassing, but I've actually lost count of how many premierships I've won here at Waratahs. <laughs> I've been in, yeah, so lucky to have back-to-back -back premierships here. Um, but, yeah, it is so many that I've lost count. I know we've lost a couple of them, but there was year after year after year where we won, which was awesome. Um, and I was also, I was drafted to the Crows in their in inaugural year. Um, unfortunately, didn't get a run in the end, but it was great to be involved in that. Um, and meet all the girls and travel a lot, um, travel a lot with that. So still a keen follower, still got lots of mates playing with them. So keep an eye on them as well. Is that the premiership year when you got yeah, drafted? Yep. And, um, yeah. So I think I remember Beck Goddard saying at the start that we would all get a go um, at playing, which is fine. So we had nine of the girls from the Territory that were drafted and the rest were from Adelaide. So it was split across the state and Territory um, so whenever we did have time together, we would really utilise that to get to know each other and training and so on and so forth. Um, being such a short season, um, and I, th I think we actually, we, we blew Beck's expectations. So we went a lot better than we thought. And in the end, I think she was not keen to, to drop anyone or change anything, which I 100% agree with. If, if it's working, why would you change anything? So um, I was listed as emergency and still travelled a lot. Um, and had that, I guess, secret, well, not a secret hope that someone would hurt themselves, but I was, I was ready to go if someone did. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, in the end they didn't, which was great. And they did come away with the flag. So it was, it was an awesome experience, but yeah, it would have been great to get out there, but I don't blame Beck in any way whatsoever. They just, the team just gelled and played so well. And why would you change something that's working? So that's how that eventuated. <laughs> in the premiership, uh, obviously for the, for the Lions, um, they're at EQ and obviously for the Waratah. So my question I want to ask is, um, how special is to win that premiership and what does it mean to both of you? It is, like, it is really precious. I've grown up playing sport all my life, so I know premierships are hard to come by. I've, I've been very fortunate um, in moving up here and playing for Waratahs to, to have played in many premierships and won, so I do not take it for granted. I laugh every year when we're in a premiership. There's lots of interviews and things that happen. And the question is always like, oh, another premiership, how do you feel about it? But you feel the exact same way. You never get sick of playing in a premiership. You never get sick of winning. I don't care how many in a row. You still have that, um, I guess, that passion and desire to want to win and you'll do everything you can to get there. Um, so, yeah, they're just absolutely so special. And, um, yeah, we still reminisce about different ones. Sometimes I blur them which one was that and who are we playing, but... Yeah, absolutely, absolutely amazing. I've been very fortunate. Yeah, it's a special feeling. I'm still on a little bit of a high, not going to lie. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess at UQ it was a bit different, like not winning any. Um, so I hope Loz is giving me some of her um, <laughs> good luck charm. Um, so hopefully we can go on a few runs. But, yeah, being the first one, it was so special. Like... Looking, looking over at Yoronga, at the really, like the beautiful oval at Yoronga, we had a whole hill full of our entire club. Mm. We only had one team playing on grand final day and we, were, we probably had the most people there. And like we, with a couple minutes to go, we knew we were going to win. Um, <laughs> obviously we were quite a few, quite a few goals ahead. Um, and it kind of just sinks in, you're like, Holy moly, like, it's amazing. How did we go from being a bunch of 60 girls at a camp shooting water guns at each other as an activity <laughs> to, um, <laughs> to playing Bond University at a grand final? It's a bit, it's a bit surreal. I still, even the Lions girls, even I was talking to Nat after the game and Greta and they were both saying a grand final is a grand final. They all feel they all feel the same, no matter how big or how small. So they were they were on top of the world themselves. Had both cups with them, so I was pretty happy. But yeah, amazing. Now, obviously, the Quaffle W Premiership Cup is pretty big, um, as I found out when I was up there in Queensland a couple of years ago. Um, I guess uh, did you get a chance to uh, hold the Premiership Cup uh, for a photo, and did you get to kiss it at any stage? Um, I got to drink a beer out of it, so <laughs> you bet I got to hold it. I got to dance with it as well, and then I nearly lost it. So, <laughs> yeah, so I danced with it. I nearly got kicked out of a bar because I drank out of it, um, got several pictures with it, and then left it at a left it somewhere. I don't really remember where I left it, and then, yeah, and then I found it again, and I was very happy. <laughs> yeah. You'd think, how could, how could I lose something that's only half my size? But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, you, bet, you bet I got several photos with that thing. <laughs> what does the sport of footy mean to all three of you, especially being at Waratah? It's a chance to meet a group of girls that I can just gel with. Like, I came up here first training um, and I gelled with War Waratah girls just, like, any other team. It was like I'd been here for three or four years. Um, Woody is so special to me. It's helped me out of a few few hard times. So, um, yeah, it's one of the best things in my life. I think it's really good that everyone always um, lets everyone join in and everyone wants everyone to play their best and no one wants anything bad to happen. So I think it's really good how um, upbeat the team is as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think that team aspect, uh, when I moved to the Territory, I knew um, I didn't know anyone here. I moved, but because I played team sport, I knew that I would find like-minded people. So 
that's what you find here in the club. But beyond the women's team as well, we've got um, several men's team. We've got junior teams. And last few years, I've started running our Auskick program here as well. So um, it's from, yeah, little kids. Um, I did kinder kick as well, actually, which were even littler again. So right from, yeah, two, three-year-olds right up to um, – to the players and then we've got our supporters that are here as well so it is it's mm -hmm. it's our family really um a lot of the people up in darwin don't have family here um so a lot of me and my mates this, this is our family our red and white family that we see several times a week yeah <laughs> as someone who's just moved here as well um first training i had people wanted to convince me to stay longer so to have <laughs> such an amazing group of girls and boys and everyone here just to make me feel so welcome um, over 2,000 kilometres away from home and all my animals and things. It's, it's, it's amazing. Um, I'll ask both of you this next question. Tell us um, how special it is to watch Annabelle um, play, the, play the game in Premier League. It is very special. Um, I've seen Annabelle play over the years um, in, in the junior grades and she just stands out. So I, I think I remember saying once to someone like, oh, who, who's that girl there? You can pick out that she just had such skill and ability and, and drive out there. Um, so that was, yeah, I, she's been on my radar. I only really probably got to know you this season, but knew of you um, for a few years now. So um her dad and family are very supportive around her football as well. Um, I remember there was one training last season where she joined in with Premier League and pretty much gave us all a bit of a wake-up call, I think, about the effort we put into training. So, um, yeah, there were conversations behind the scenes early in the season about um, Annabelle, what, what grade she should play. Um, and we thought because she does have the skill and dedication and commitment that Premier League is giving her the best opportunity for her um, football career as well um, to be seen by um, potential yeah pe people coaches around the around the country to we want to I guess expose her skills and determination around footy so Premier League will give her that opportunity and we're obviously very thankful to have her up there with us and yeah, we do forget that she is so young at times. <laughs> Honestly, it's effortless to watch. She'll just, you know, kick the ball along the ground. It'll just bounce up perfectly for her. And then she'll kick the ball about 40 metres to a direct target. Like, it is effortless. It is the, one of the best sights to watch when she's in full flight. And to have her around the group as well. Like, she's putting all of us to shame in some of the fitness. Um, she's <laughs> running up there at the top, which is a little bit... A little bit sad, but yeah, it's, it's it's amazing. Like she makes sure all of us are at that level where we're wanting to be better. And I think Heidi loves having her around in the group because she just has that eagerness to want to learn and want to be around the best girls in the club, which I think is amazing. And her, and your honesty around. So she seeks feedback um, after every game. Heidi's mentioned that to me. Um, which is which is awesome and really good, but you can see that she actually does something with it as well. Um, and if there's some um, feedback that's, I guess we try and put, make all feedback constructive, but anything she will take on board. Um, if she did something not so well out there, she's happy to own it as well and then go out and do better next time. So she's like a sponge yeah. taking it all in. Even from the first and last game that I like played with her this season, Apples and oranges, I reckon. Like already a lot of Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Already. And I've only like I've only met her this year. It's I made it's insane to think where she can head with footy. So have you convinced her to uh, play for UQ in the Quaffle W this year? <laughs> I'm trying on that one. I'm trying on that one. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely getting on to Ross. So is um, Megan Hunt and myself. We are <laughs> underway. Yeah, maybe we should about that. <laughs> yeah. Um because you don't want to play for me, Bond lost to us, so. <laughs> <laughs> and Annabelle's part of the Thunder Academy program that's happening up here as well. So um, Annabelle's training load is quite heavy, I guess, in terms of balancing, yeah, the academy and Waratahs. So um, she's got a lot on her plate, um, but seems to be managing that all right. Um, probably doing a little too much, if anything. <laughs> so we're going to keep an eye on her and make sure she's looking after herself too. Can't get burnt out. <laughs> uh, who's the comedian, the best singer, the best dancer on the team? I'd go the comedian, I'd go Brie Martin, Geezer, we call her. 
she's a bit of a larrikin. Um, the best singer and dancer. Um, dancer, I'd have to go Holly Goodall. So um, she's played a bit of Premier League in her time and playing some reserves and um, she'll even dance when she's on the mark. She'll have to be careful with the new rule in now though, but there was a classic one year of her dancing when she was on the mark and the, the kicker absolutely shanked it. It was hilarious. <laughs> Uh, in terms of singing, um, would you like me to display my singing? Oh, I'm I kidding. Know. I think I might. I might not make not. all the listeners ears bleed. <laughs> I'm not sure about the singing. What do you know. guys reckon? I haven't heard. Oh, oh Steph I'm Stephanie O'Brien. Stephanie O'Brien. She's actually an awesome singer. I like to sing. Yeah. yeah. Megan White. Bunks, Bunks oh. doesn't mind a good tune as well. Okay. Has a sing. <laughs> Do any of you have a pre-game superstition or ritual? Annabelle, you don't have to answer this one. Always have to put zinc on. Sun safety. I am. Yes, you do. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've, 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 I've actually now introduced a little, yeah, a little ritual. I have to always wear my bucket hat in warm up. Um, little, it's got the little drawstring to keep it attached because if I'm chasing after Annabelle, I have to be really fast. Um, but yeah, always have to wear zinc. I have to do my sunscreen in the sheds. So I'll put it on at home because I can't, I'm so pale, I'll get sunburned no matter what. <laughs> and then I'll do it again in the sheds and put my sunscreen on and zinc and then put my hat on and, and then I'm ready to go. I think over the years I've learned to ease up on my superstitions. I think they were getting a little bit out of hand um, for a while there with the, the same undies every game. I'd have to go <laughs> sock shoe, sock shoe. There was lots of little things. So I've tried to just chill out and not be so OCD over it. Um, yeah, I was getting a bit out of hand. So if I'd panic if I couldn't find something or if something didn't work and it would throw me a bit. And then I just had to remind myself that it doesn't actually matter. <laughs> You'll get back again. So actually, I do have a lucky bra. Yeah. 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 It's a pink one. It's under armor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> lucky. We're in the grand final. That's why it's lucky. <laughs> no, no specific reason why. <laughs> <laughs> You mentioned the brand. That was that was good. Uh, yeah, yeah. A little, little slide that in there. <laughs> Anyone had any embarrassing moments? Thoughts? <laughs> where to start? I remember actually. I think it was the start of last season, round one. We're on TIO, and it was the women's game that was being live streamed, and I was right near the edge, um, and I grabbed the ball and I got dapped. Um, but I had my, like, I had the bike shorts on and I was just, I guess I was trying to be cool and calm. So I held the footy and got rid of it and then just discreetly tried to pull it. <laughs> oh, dear. But it was the base shorts run, so it wasn't, like, full exposure. But I, I did look at the replay later and was like, oh, God, that couldn't have been any closer to, like, the crowd and, like, <laughs> bum facing that way and everything. <laughs> <Yeah. Moon them. laughs> Um, embarrassing stories outside of footy, I've got lots, but <laughs> inside footy, on the field, not in the team, but like in the fit on the field, I'm pretty, I'm pretty tame. Um, actually, um, no, actually, <laughs> as of yet, my whole two years of playing, I've got, I've got none. <laughs> fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <laughs> when we were playing on TIO one at night time, I went up to market and I looked straight in the light. And then I got blinded and then I got falconed. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. How embarrassing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Actually, no, I remember mine. I can even send the video. It's probably the best thing ever. It's not really embarrassing. It's just funny. Um, I was playing a team last year in Crawford W. Um, this girl on the other team gave away a free kick because she caught one of our girls high. She looked at the umpire with the ball in her hand and then I clucked in her face. And then she tried to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was, caught, it was caught on video. We were live streamed, so. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. So it's pre pretty much my pr like proudest moment of my life. <laughs> in her face. She's, good, she's good foot taller than me as well and I'm clapping up to her. <laughs> and of course this final one has to go to annabelle because we sponsored her uh this year so how special is have smash fm your play sponsor this year yeah it's really special it gives me that extra opportunity 
to be seen and as well as to um, get the opportunity to play for the women. And yeah, it's just super special knowing that there's you guys out there um, wanting me to do as good as I can. So. Three, thank you so much for getting up your time to join us. I know you got training right now. Um, so we're taking some of your time away from that. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck against the defending chance points. And uh, let's hope uh, you can uh, continue that uh, uh, pretty reasonably good start to the season. And hopefully uh, you can uh, beat Pine and uh, obviously make your way towards hopefully a very successful uh, uh, run towards the finals. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Thank you very much. No worries. And of course, if you want, to, if you're in the NT um, and want to go watch that game, of course, uh, Waratah take on points. Uh, of course, uh, we'll put all the details up on how uh, you can uh, go down there and support the Mighty Red and White uh, in 2021-22. There's more on the Smashboard show right after this. Don't go away here on the 10th year celebration.